Hey everyone, this is Steve Harris from Museums.com. Today we're going to have a look at the video backgrounds and the video player widgets that we offer in our members library. Uh, we've had some support questions about how to link up the videos and issues with them playing, so I just wanted to clarify a couple things on them. So the first one we're going to look at is our HTML5 video player. So let's just drag that out of our toolbox and onto the canvas. And I'm going to close this so we have a little more room to work and I'll scale the video down so that I can show you the assets panel or the flyout panel. So in the flyout panel for the HTML5 video player, we have a couple of options. The video name, the reason we put that in there is so that you could have multiple videos on one page. That actually relates to the ID that Muse uses. The next thing we need to do is link up a preview URL. Now this is just a URL to a PNG or a JPEG, something you want to be the static image for your video. Now this is where it gets kind of interesting. The video files, the MP4, and the WebMs. Right now I have full links to actual demo videos in there. And the reason we allowed you to put full links rather than locking you into the Muse Assets folder is because with this widget, people are going to be including a lot of different types of videos on their site. And if you host all of those videos on your actual server, your bandwidth can get really heavy. So you might want to try hosting your videos off site, maybe somewhere that has a little bit bigger bandwidth, and you might have better luck with your videos. So in this panel here, you can actually put in a full link to a video like we have now, or if you do want to upload the video using the upload files in Muse, there's a little trick to do it. So the first thing we need to do is click File and Add Files for Upload. And we've included a couple sample videos with our video widgets called sample.mp4 and sample.webm. So let's just click both of those and click Open. Nothing's going to happen in Muse. All it's going to do is link those files and upload them when you publish your site. Now we can link to those videos in the widget by simply putting in here, let's just delete out what we have. We can put assets slash sample.mp4 there. Now it's just going to find that video within the assets folder. And that's where Muse by default puts them when you upload them this with this method. So let's do the same in here. We'll go assets slash sample.webm and that's it. You need to include both versions of the video if you want to maximize browser compatibility. MP4 works on some browsers, WebM works on the others. Include both if you want to make sure that everyone can see the video. Now, if we click File and Preview Page in Browser, our video should work, and it does. The sample image or the sample video we've included here is just drops of ink going into water, but it works, out, it works nicely, and you don't actually need to upload this to your server to make sure that it works. So now let's look at the video backgrounds widget. If we jump back to Muse and let's go to a new page, I'll drag that widget out onto the canvas and link it up. So we'll go to 001 videos, video backgrounds and drag it out. And you don't actually get a preview image with this widget. You just get this little code snippet. So with this widget, let's bring out the options flyout. And now what we need to do is link up our videos, but you can't put a full hyperlink in these boxes. And the reason we did that is because the video backgrounds widget, we wanted to control a little bit more of the linking functionality within. And because you're not going to be linking 100 different video backgrounds, it doesn't matter if you host this video yourself. So for this widget, if we click again, file and add files for upload, and we select these two, I've already done it on the last demo, so it's in there already. Now, all we need to do is actually write the name and we'll do it on the one below here, sample.webm, and that's it. We don't need to include an assets folder or a full link, anything like that. The last component of this widget is called the pattern overlay, and this lets you overlay a tiled image over the video. So by default, we have in here pattern.png, and the reason we've done that is because if you click again, files, add files for upload, there's a pattern.png sample included with our widget. So we'll click open there, just make sure the name matches perfectly here. And again, one thing I want to stress here that's very important is be careful with your naming. Don't use capital letters, spaces, weird characters like underscores. Make your names really simple. Pattern.png, lowercase, and it should work perfectly. The last thing we'll do is just set the pattern opacity. This means how transparent or how you can see the video through the pattern. We'll set it at about 0.5. Now if we click File and Preview Page in Browser, 
We should see our video backgrounds widget, but something's happened here, and this is quite a common error, is that the actual page fill is sitting in front of the video backgrounds. So if we go back to Muse, we can fix this quickly by just making sure you've clicked anywhere on the page here. Go up to Fill and set it to None. We'll also set the stroke to None. And let's preview it again in the browser. And it works perfectly. That's it. So the Video Backgrounds widget is really simple to link up, but you do need to make sure that you're naming your videos appropriately and you're linking the videos to the right places. If you have any trouble with this widget, feel free to send us a support request at support at musethemes.com. Thanks again.